How do you find dealing with distraction while you're speaking? <laughs> I don't mind. Yeah, they can do whatever they want. Yeah. Have you selected any particular foreign language to learn while you're going through your educational process? You know, I have tried to learn Spanish, as I said. Um, I, in high school, I was required to take two different um, foreign languages, and Spanish just wasn't happening. So I took Latin and Swedish. So, oh my goodness. <laughs>
dimples that are on the ball. And I'm like, wow, that's really cool. And what's really important about you know, in your ball, what's really important is the US Open, the golf championship in Chambers Bay in 2015. And I want to share with you a little bit about the history of Chambers Bay, the US Open, and my opinion on how this is going to boom when 2015 happens. So, a little bit about history of Chambers Bay. I'm going to pass around a picture of it looked like in 1940 and 1950. Uh, all my information that I found was on the Pierce County website. A lot of history about Lakewood University plays in Chambers Bay. It began to take shape over about 200 years ago. That was way before any of our times in South Puget Sound. And it's about 930 acres long on the shore of South Puget Sound. And from my understanding, all I know in my 22 years of living, that's always been a golf course to me. I live, I live in Lakewood, so as far as I'm concerned, but as the picture goes around, and that's the 1940s, 1950s, it was a timber and mining property, and it, it has been different properties, which I was really astounded on how many times it has changed. It was a paper mill, a performance match company, a major industrial center, a multiple lumber company, a railroad center, a county gravel mine, a bus barn, and a regional wastewater treatment plan. And now today, it's a world-class 18-hole golf course. And that's where our US Open is gonna be at at Chambers Bay. And, and today, I want to, the main, my main point is talking about the US Open. I just wanna give you a little snippet on a little bit of reason why they chose Chambers Bay. And, in February 7, 2008, is when the USGA, the United States Golf Association, announced that Washington is going to have the honor and awarded the 2015 US Open. And I never thought I'd be so excited about golf, but I'm really excited for some reason. It's one of the world's best players, or a lot of the world's best, best players, are going to be here. I'm like, yay! In our best yard. Washington's going to get put on the map again. <laughs> And I found a little snippet from our governor, Chris Gregoire, and she says, Chambers Bay Golf Course is a jewel for the entire state of Washington and the Pacific Northwest. The U.S. Open and the U.S. Amateur Championships that we had last year, 2010, will be a wonderful opportunity to showcase the natural beauty of our state and share it with golf enthusiasts from around the globe. What is this like? Really cool that I found that out. And another statement from one of the chairmen called Jim Heiler. He's a chairman on the USGA committee. And he also says, this is the first time the US Open has been to Washington. And we're confident that the golf course will provide a challenging test for the best players in the world, as well as the great spectator experience for those who attend the event and watch it online and TV. So for those that are in businesses around the area, my my third main topic I wanted to share with you about the US Open is business and revenue. How great is that? This is what the logo is going to look like in 2015. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with the logo, but it's really exciting because for businesses in 2012, in 2013, 2014, any golf lovers that's going to attend this 2015 event is going to want that as their birthday present or their birthday present or Christmas present. So think about that if you know anyone that loves golf. And even businesses that's in the area around the event site is going to have tons of publicity because people around the world, tourists, are going to want to visit Chambers Bay now that the U.S. Open in 2015 has been been awarded. And what I want to, I just want to thank you for this amazing experience that speak in front of you. It's been a major privilege to talk to you about subjects I wasn't quite familiar with. And now that I have more insight about the sport and something coming into Washington, I gain a little bit more insight to what's happening in our state. Not only did I just learn about golf, but I learned about a lot of other things like the past of like Scotland and where, where they think where golf originally came from. And I want to leave you with one last thought. 
Last year, remember the story about the, the number on the ball, it distinguishes yours, but as, as 